Hi, this video is going to go over how to replace the print wheel on a Nakajima WPT160 typewriter. It's a pretty easy procedure and I'll just go through the steps. The instruction manual goes over how to do it, but it kind of skips the step, the step on how to remove it. So we'll go over the whole process here. So I've got this unit plugged in and what you can do to start with is lift up the cover. And we'll start with that. Get the cover out of the way. I've got a piece of paper in there. <clears throat> and I think a good place to start here is to just turn on and off or turn turn the unit on <clears throat> and then let it get to its home position and then turn it off. And that will kind of synchronize everything and get the print wheel aligned so that it's kind of it's set up in its default location um, and you'll see more when I get that out what I mean so I'm just gonna turn this off or turn it on we'll let it kind of spin around to its home position okay now I'm gonna turn it off And the first step is to just remove the print ribbon cartridge. This here, it just snaps in place. So you just have to grasp it, pull up, and it just snaps out. Pretty simple. Okay, set that aside. Now the next step is to go in and release the what they call the print wheel release lever which is this lever right here so you'll see i'm going to pull this back and the print wheel will be released from its position there okay now you got Pull back, this is loose, and you just gently pull it out. So there's your print wheel. And if you look close, this side just has kind of a, an elongated, you know, bump on it. And then, of course, this side's going to have all the characters on it. What I noticed is the, the kind of default location is to have the plus, minus, and the, the, uh, the R facing up. So that short one in the middle, which looks to be a, the period or a period or a dot, that one, that one was straight up. And that aligns with this hole right here. See this elongated hole? That is the key that lines up with the, the hole in the mechanism here. So you can only really put this in one way, which is nice. It will kind of self-align when you put it in. So you can just take your new print wheel and make sure that the characters are facing the paper and that this elongated part is facing up just like it is in the unit and then you put it in in between the card holder which is this and then this black plastic plate here you put it in between those two okay you set it in there 
I'm going to put this down. And you, you just gently drop it down in there. And while it's in there and lined up with the two holes, the middle one and that elongated one, you just push up on this lever and it will align the two and that's it. Now it's back in there. It's all locked back into place. This lever is as far forward as it'll go. And then you can just take the the ribbon cartridge, lower it down so it lines up centered, and then push it down so it snaps into place. And that's it. You're done. Very simple. They make it very easy. And now it, it, in the instructions, it also says what you can do is hold the code, you know, after you turn it back on, hold the code key and press the W. Um, and that just, I think, realigns the default character up, just like uh, that, that, that period I was mentioning. So we're going to turn it back on. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the code and W together. See, it just goes back to the home position. I think it's doing the same thing as if you turn the unit off and then on again. But in any case, that's what the instructions tell you to do. Here is the set of instructions. You can uh, you can take a screenshot of that if you want, and it just tells you it's really telling you to to start with to put the print wheel in. It doesn't tell you to take it out first, so it's kind of missing that part how to take it out. But I just showed you how to do it. It's pretty self-explanatory once you know how to get to it. So. Those are the instructions. See, after replacing print wheel with the power on, press code W. Print wheel returns and stops at the default position. So, and then you should be ready to go. This unit is on, and I should be able to type here. D -E -S -T. I did hit two T's. So it's working. So the print wheel change out on this Nakajima WPT 160. Very simple. And that's how you do it. Very good. Thanks for watching.